Let's talk about Melo. Let's put them threes up real quick. Okay, Carmelo Anthony, he has became the first winner of the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Social Justice Champion Award, okay? Um, first of all, congratulations to Carmelo Anthony. Obviously, you know, he's had a great career. He's a 10-time All-Star. He's an entrepreneur, a philanthropist. He was selected for uh, his dedication over the past year to pursuing uh, social justice and advancing uh, Abdul-Jabbar's life mission to engage, empower, and drive equality for individuals and groups who have been historically marginalized or systematically disadvantaged. Um, according to ESPN, that's their exact words. I have a quote here from uh, Carmelo Anthony. He said, and I quote, it's such an honor. I'm lucky to be a part of the league full of players who are equally as passionate about making a difference. So I'm truly humbled to be recognized by Kareem and the selection committee. It's my hope that this award encourages others to help up uplift those who have been historically marginalized or systematically disadvantaged and do their part in making equality and justice for all. And the uh, four other finalists for the award was uh, Sacramento Kings forward Harrison Barnes, Philadelphia 76ers forward uh, Tobias Harris, Milwaukee Bucks guard Drew Holiday, and Golden State Warriors forward uh, uh, Juwan Toscano-Anderson. And uh, yeah, and they overall the the uh, this is the first uh, this is the first year that the war that the award has been announced. They they announced that this award would be an award on May thirteenth. And again, we talked about it. We said there was not a person that I feel like the NBA should name the award after more than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You know, all, he's made a tremendous impact when it came to uh, this certain issue right here. Um, but yeah, Nate, I'm, I'm, you know what, Nate? I'll let you start off with this first, okay? But before I do, the uh, source for this article is Mark J. Spears, ESPN. So your thoughts on Carmel Anthony winning the first ever Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Social Justice Champion Award? Oh, first of all, congratulations to Carmel Anthony on winning the... the um... Uh, the award, you know, that's my boy Melo. Shout out to him, future Hall of Famer, without a doubt. Um, yeah, I talk about this a lot, especially with like the Walter Payman Year Award. I talk about it with the Roberto Clemente Award. Um, they don't do it because they want to win the award. You know, they do it because they actually care about the community and that this is what they want to do. You know, one of the things that when I took a coaching class in my first semester of college, one of the things that I learned as not only an athlete but as a coach give back to the community because if it's not for the had it not been for the community you wouldn't be where you're at. You know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean that's just how it works. And again, they don't do it because they want to win the award. They do it because out of the kindness of their own heart. You know, they could have just flat out been like, oh no, nah, you know, these people can fend for themselves. But they don't do that. They do it because they care. And that, and that's just how it is. You know, you know what I mean? I'm, and I'm glad, like Carmelo said, you know, that he's filled with elite four players who are equally as passionate about making a difference. I am too, you know, because like just like the NFL, the NBA is dominantly black. You know what I mean? You look at the MLB as well, you know, that's dominantly biracial as well. You know, you got, you got a lot of Puerto Ricans and Dominicans playing there as well. A lot of Japanese players playing there as well. So they're, they're willing to make a team as well. And any, in every other sports league is as well. You know, so I'm, I'm glad that all sports leaders, sports leagues are jumping in and trying to make a change. And I love to see it, you know, because there definitely needs to be change in this country and, and in the world in general. You know what I mean? So, to any, you know, to anybody that's willing to, willing to help out with the change, I'm proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing. As for Kamala Anthony, you know, congratulations to you and keep doing what you're doing, brother. Yeah, absolutely. And I've seen a video. It's not I can't really find like an actual like quote here in the article, but. I seen I seen a video. He did he uh, he he talked in a video and he said, and I, I do like what he said. He said, um, he said basically what he tries to do is he tries to encourage, and this is me paraphrasing paraphrasing it. He tried to encourage people to have those types of talk and to communicate, even if the talk is even if the talk is something that even if the conversation is something that people are not really comfortable talking about. So for instance, like obviously like you know like race is a very sensitive topic in this country you know and he talks about how he talks about how he really is all for people and communicating with each other you know even if even if the the community even if the topic that they're on is something that not many people like to talk about you know and i respect that because again without communication this country is not going to get nowhere you know the world is not going to get nowhere you need communication communication i feel like is one of the most important parts of life OK, which is why we talk about it. We talk about it a lot. You know, when we talk about when we talk about like certain like we talk about a lot of instances where like somebody gets shot, like where athletes stand up and getting involved in a shooting or they 
or the athlete gets shot. You know, we talk about putting the guns down and everything like that. Nate. We talked about that many times. And we talk about communicating, talk, talking face to face. It's as simple as that. And it's the same thing with these with this issue right here. If you don't talk face to face, if you don't again, if communi- without communication, nothing is going to get achieved. Nate. You know, and sometimes and, you know, sometimes pe- uh, sometimes people aren't really comfortable with having that type of communication one one on one. But you know what? I'm going to be honest with you, Nick. Communication is what's going to help. Communication is really what's going to be, is really what's going to help this whole, the whole world get forward. Um, you know, it's what's going to really help the whole world push forward into moving on to create a better world for everybody, you know? And I do respect that he, that he talks about that, you know, how sometimes, you know, we need to sit down and have the, and have these uncomfortable conversations, you know, in order to get, in order to get what's, uh, to get done what needs to be done as simple as that and i completely respect that you know that's something i like to do you know i if i got a problem with somebody i'm gonna communicate with them like look here's my problem you know blah 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 i'm um now honestly you know not everybody's the now obviously you know not everybody's the perfect communicator you know some people they obviously get all upset and they get mad or whatever and they start yelling saying some very like hurtful things that stuff happens too you know some people just don't want to hear you know but overall nate communication is what's going to get is what's going to get us by it's as simple as that. In order for change to be done, we need to communicate. And I'm glad that Carmelo Anthony shared that message. Um, it was in a video, Nate. It, it really, it was in a video. And if I could find that video, I will definitely post it in the description below. But he does talk about it. He, he does talk about it. He's in, he's in front of a camera and he talks about how, like, how a lot of us need to start communicating, basically. And again, I couldn't agree with him more. You know, communication is what's going to, what's going to get everything done. So overall, though, going back to the award, Nate, with that being said, congratulations to Carmelo Anthony on receiving the first ever Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Social Justice Champion Award. And I wish him the best of luck in the future.